Hello to all Mario fans. Uh, the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Switch Remake is now here and you'll be able to play it into your PC. So if you don't have a Switch but want to try out this game and don't know where to get all the files you need, then please do watch this video tutorial because I'm going to teach you that. So first of all, what you need is that you will need to have a decent PC or a laptop or a Linux or a Mac OS 12 uh, device. So you will need to have all of the three files that I have highlighted here in my desktop. These are the most important files that you need to have. And also you will need to install an application called Ryujinx. So for those who do not know, Ryujinx is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It can play any Nintendo Switch games on it as long as you have all of these three files here installed in Ryujinx emulator. And as you can see here, I have Paper Mario 2000 Year Door. It's in XEF file format, version 1.0.0, and it's a 5.4 GB file size. So, um uh before uh showing you how to properly set up Ryujinx, i'm going to teach you first where to get Ryujinx emulator first and to do that all you have to do is just open a web browser and just type in Ryujinx emulator in google search and hit search then go to Ryujinx.org. click on that that is our official website click on the get started button here and there are two installers for linux so if you have a linux device be sure to get the one that you need and for those who are in mac be sure to get uh, it here by clicking download and be sure that it is in Mac OS 12 or later version. And for those who are in Windows, be sure that you are in Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC in order for you to install Regex Emulator. So since I have already have done this and that I have already installed it into my PC, I'm just gonna skip on this part because the download and installation process for this is really easy to do and is really straightforward and that anyone can do this and any noob can do this. So you go ahead, click on it, download it now and install it into your PC. And I'm just going to assume that you have already done that. So open Regen Simulator. So if this is your first installation, your Regen Simulator will not look like mine because mine has already been set up properly. For you, it will look empty because you will need to have these files here installed in Regen first. So what are these files? These files are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. Uh, the, the file format, I mean the firmware version of the of the firmware should be in version 18.0.0 and the keys should be in version 18.0.1 and also you'll need to have the XCI or NSP file format of Paper Mario 2000 in your door in order for Regions emulator to detect that game. Now if you're asking me how to get all of these free files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console which is fully modded and have installed a custom firmware in it because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, that means that you can have fully access your Nintendo Switch system files and once you have access on those, all you have to do is just look for all of the firmware files of the Switch and the keys files of the Switch and then transfer them into your PC. Now, in order for you to get the game, there's no other way around this, but you should purchase the game legally, own the physical copy of the game wherein you have purchased it from a physical store, or you bought it from the eShop. So once you own the game and that you have bought it, you can now digitally back it up into an XCI or NSP file format, just like mine here. So for those who don't own a Switch but want to try out this game but don't know where to get all of these files, all you have to do, guys, is just scan this QR code here with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you'll be redirected to the page where you can get all of these free files. So be sure to check out the files that have highlighted in my desktop and be sure to get a copy of them and then transfer them into your PC. And that is really easy to do. And I'm just going to assume that you have done that now and that you have the files now into your PC, just like mine here, where I have put them in the desktop for you to easily be seen. Now, open Regions emulator now. Then it's time to install the keys first and to do this is just go to file go to open regions folder and then locate system folder and be sure to open that then open the keys zip file in the desktop then drag and drop or copy and paste the product keys and title keys into this folder here once you have done that close in this then the next step is to install the firmware file so just go to tools install firmware install a firmware from the or zip file locate on that firmware file and hit open and then it will say that we'll have to install this firmware version, hit yes, and it will say successfully installed, hit OK. Uh, you will know the installation is successful because your Switch games will now be detected and their game icons will be shown. So if you see a game that does have the game icon, that means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key. So be sure to only follow the QR code that we put in the screen so that you'll only get you'll only get the release files, firmware, and keys in the Paper Mario 2000 Year Door game. Now, for the next step is that we will need to optimize our Eugene Simulator so that there'll be no drifting, no crashes, no black screens or graphical glitches into our playthroughs. And to do this, just go to Options and go to Settings. 
and in this part just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here so these are my settings for Janelle tab game directories is where and you will store your uh switch games and it could be anywhere into your pc as long as you know where they are and that they are in an ssd so that it will run much faster and also the game file format should be in xci or nsp file format because that is the format regions can only detect now go to input i have connected my nintendo switch pro controller here so if you have other controllers such as xbox or playstation controller connect them here and then map them up according to your liking but the dead zone for both left and right sticks should be set in point 20 or 20 percent so that there'll be no drifting in your placers so if you have some control issues controller issues in the controller then be sure to change the dead zone here in point 20. once done go to keyboard and hotkeys these are default settings now go to system you can change the region language system time and time zone here so that you can progress some games when changing them here so be sure to change that here to whatever you like and once you're done go to cpu so really simple settings be sure to copy that now go to graphics most important part of the setting here so graphics uh back end is in vulcan api your preferred gpu is that you have a dedicated graphics cards and that you enable shader cache and enable macro hle Resolution scale should be in two times solutions so that the game will look sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC can handle that, then all you have to do is just revert back into native resolution. But for me, two times solution is the best. Once you're done here, go to audio, copy my settings here. And if you want to play online or multiplayer, you should change it, the settings in this section. And once you have copied everything, hit apply and hit OK. Congratulations, your Ryujin emulator is now fully optimized to really play any Nintendo Switch games in your PC, such as the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. A little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running to my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they do not support this kind of content. So if I showed you that uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door runs quite well, perfectly in Ryujin emulator, then my channel will be taken down, my videos will be taken down the same way as they have taken down Yuzu emulator. And hope you guys do understand on that part. But I am willing to compromise a little bit and show you proof that this rigid trail is working. That's why I'm gonna try to boot it up, run the game, and once it sl starts running, I'm just gonna stop the emulation from there. And also, I'm just gonna blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strikes into my channel. And I hope you guys do understand on that part. So there are quite issues here. Uh, it crashed for a bit. So I'm just going to reopen it again. I, because I have forgotten to, uh, I have changed the settings. And I have forgotten to restart it. So I'm going to look back for the game here. So here, it's starting to compile the shaders here. I have played it, but I have not saved uh, its state. So we'll have to run the game back to uh to the very beginning so i'm just gonna merge screen here so that nintendo will not be able to hit me with their cover strike as you can see the game is running 30 fps and it boots quite well so i'm just gonna stop the emulation here so as long as you have followed all the steps that i've shown you in this guide you'll be able to play paper mario the thousand year door into your Eugene emulator easily just be sure to follow all of the steps that I've shown you and the optimization settings. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.